Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain about the Arrhenius theory of ionization. This is a very important topic of ionic equilibrium chapter and we know that ionic equilibrium chapter is a very important chapter in physical chemistry. So in this video, we will understand about the basics of uh, ionic equilibrium chapter that is the Arrhenius theory of ionization. So, uh, in 1887, Svante Arrhenius put forward a theory to explain the properties of electrolytes in solution. This theory is known as Arrhenius theory of ionization or it is also called electrolytic dissociation. So in 1887, Svante Arrhenius gave a theory to explain the properties of electrolytes in solution, how they behave, he gave that theory and he gave some postulates on the basis of which we are going to understand about the Arrhenius theory. Let's understand about the postulates one by one. So the first theory over here is, uh, sorry, the first postulate is when an electrolyte that is acid, base or salt, the electrolyte might be either acid, base or salt is dissolved in water or any other polar solvent that can be either water or any other polar solvent it yields two kinds of electric electrically charged particle it yields two kinds of charged particle which are known as ions so if we consider an electrolyte that is ab and if we put it in water or any other polar solvent then it will break and give a plus plus b minus you can see over here there is a positive charge and a negative charge being formed out of this electrolyte. This is the electrolyte. And here this uh, positively charged ion is called cation. And the negatively charged ion is called anion. That I have written over here as well. Similarly, the second postulate is over here. That says that in solution, the ions tend to recombine the ions tend to recombine to form unionized molecule that is it is a two-way reaction okay thus there exists a dynamic equilibrium between ions and the unionized molecule of the electrolyte so let's understand this uh, postulate from the same example that is a b giving a plus plus b minus then what happens this a b this is the electrolyte this is breaking to give what a plus and b minus that is uh, the electrolyte is giving the respective ions now these ions will recombine recombine to form this electrolyte as well that means at a particular condition uh, there will be like uh, there will be an equilibrium between this ab that is the electrolyte unionized molecule and the ions that is called the dynamic dynamic equilibrium dynamic equilibrium now the dynamic equilibrium is described by a constant called the ionization constant there is a formula to know the ionization constant of any reaction that formula is k is equal to actually k represents the ionization constant okay k represents the ionization constant the formula of k for particular reaction this will be the concentration of a plus the concentration of B minus upon the concentration of the unionized molecule that is AB. This is the formula to get the value of the ionization constant of any reaction. Now the third one is in a solution of an electrolyte the total number of positive charge the total number of positive charge is equal to the total number of negative charge that means the solution is electrically neutral now let's understand this by an example if hcl that is hydrochloric acid is put in water water then it will break to give h plus plus cl minus that means there is one positive charge and one negative charge right similarly if we take another example that is sulfuric acid then uh, and put it in water or any other polar solvent then it will give to h plus plus SO4 minus minus there are two negative charges and there are total two positive charges right so this postulate says that the number of positive and negative charges are equal that means the solution is electrically neutral similarly uh, another postulate is the ions move towards oppositely oppositely charged electrode on passing 
uh, electricity, electric current through the solution. The moment of the ions in solution is responsible for the flow of electric current. Thus, only those substances which ionize in solution will be conductors of electricity. Now, let me explain this. Okay, this is a very simple thing. Suppose there are two electrodes. One is positively one is positive terminal another one is negative terminal and if we put some electrolyte over here then it will definitely give positive and negative ions right the positive ion that is cation will move toward the negative electrode on passing electricity now this uh, if positive ion, positive ion that is uh, cation comes over here this is called cathode right the negatively charged electrode is called cathode and this negatively charged ion will come towards the positive electrode that is also called anode anode so you understood it properly and when these ions move electricity is conducted similarly the next one is the properties of an electrolyte in solution are due to the ions that gives in the solution so the property of any electrolyte like hcl come entirely depends on h plus and cl minus the property of this electrolyte the ionized molecule depends on the ions that it gives in the solution. This is the meaning of this postulate. Similarly, the next one is each ion that is formed as a result of ionization, uh, ionization produces the same effect on osmotic pressure and other colligative properties. So you can see over here, this H plus and Cl minus are the ions that is formed by dissociating this HCl, right? Now, whatever effect this HCl has on the colligative properties, on the colligative properties like uh, lowering a vapor pressure, lowering a vapor pressure, elevation of boiling point, uh, Raoult's law and this osmotic pressure, the ions, this H plus and Cl minus will have the same kind of effect. That is, H plus and Cl minus will have same kind of effect on the osmotic, sorry, colligative property, colligative properties. So, the uh, ions of the solution, the ions of the electrolyte in the solution will have the same effect on the colligative property just like the electrolyte. This is the sixth postulate. Now, finally, the seventh postulate given by Arrhenius was at moderate concentration, only a fraction of total number of molecule ionizes. And there is a definition. This definition is very important throughout the chapter. This definition is the fraction of total number of molecules present as free ions in the solution is known as degree of ionization. So degree of ionization alpha is given by the formula uh, number total number of molecules ionized total number of molecules ionized upon total number of molecules present present so this is the formula for alpha that is degree of ionization and it is it, the, the meaning of it and the meaning of it is it is the fraction the total the fraction of total number of molecules present uh, total number of molecules present as free ions in the solution and this alpha is very important in this chapter now uh, we will see Oswald's law of dilution in future where we will uh, find the value of this alpha as well and throughout the chapter this value of alpha will be repeated again and again. Uh, I hope you understood everything. If you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video.